we are now is this is the, the, the wall of the, the cairn coming round, the chambered cairn. You can see where Jackie's got her bucket there. And the passage seems to come through here and along it's blocked by some big stones at the end there. And the whole thing was full of rubble and animal bone and um, a coin a couple of years ago that we found there. that was a stiker of Northumbria, a king called Enred, who was a slightly obscure king who didn't last very long. But it is a 9th century coin, and so we think probably what we've got is some Viking activity right at the top there. The bone is also butchered with metal butchery marks, so that suggests that we've got, again, it's going to be Iron Age or, or Pictish or possibly even Viking in date, but certainly not Neolithic. Um, and in fact, where Jackie is just there, we, she brought up a beautiful piece of um, red deer antler yesterday, part of the beam and tines, which has been sawn through. It, it's very definitely antler working. And again, um, suggests metal tools. It's not the kind of thing you could do with stone tools. So we've got quite late activity in this passageway here. And what Jackie's doing at the moment is just taking away some of the, the rubble blocking here. And I have to say, I'm beginning to think we might have a souterrain. We have a blocked doorway where her foot is coming round into this passageway. And that might explain why we've got all that later activity there. Um, down at the bottom, the boys at the bottom there are working on a um, um, part of a big, a huge wall that comes out from the chambered cairn and goes this way under the beach. It's disappearing quite badly as the tides get to it more and more, those stones get round, more rounded every year. And so we're doing our best to look at that and see um, if we can get some indications from this side, from the deposits on this side, and we can get some dating material and so on from it. And Professor Jane Downs from the Archaeology Institute was working down there last year, but the other side of that wall where we were hoping to find ground surface is completely scoured away by the tides now, and there wasn't anything to find, sadly.